Hello children, welcome to Mathematics Online Learning Platform. Grade 2, Worksheet Number 1, Topic Time. Children, in our last class we have learned about the time and telling the time, parts of the clock. So, today we are going to solve the activity number 1. So children, let us begin with the activity number 1. Draw hands for the clock to show the correct time. Children, look at the image here. They have given the empty clock where we have to draw the hands as per the given time here. So, in the first question, they have given the time 4.30. It means 4 o'clock 30 minutes. So, children, we have to draw both the hour hand and the minute hand. So children, here we have to draw the hand, minute hand on a 6 and a hour hand in between the 4 and 5. It indicates that half past 4 or 4 o'clock 30 minutes. So children, let us solve the next problem. The time given here is... 11.30 it means 11 o'clock 30 minutes or half past 11 so we have to draw both the hands a short hand in between the 11 and 12 and a minute hand on a 6 so children read the time and draw the hands properly let us move to the next activity Activity number 2. Match the times. The first one is done for you. So children look at the image here. They have given a clock and the standard timings and in the digital timings. Children we have to match for the correspondence. One has been done for you. So look at the image here. In the clock we can see a hour hand is between the 4 and 5 and a minute hand is on 9. It means it's a quarter to 5 or 4 o'clock 45 minutes. So we have drawn a line here to match the correct answer. So children we have to follow the same rule and complete this activity. So in the second image we can see the time showing 8 o'clock. So in a standard form we have to search for 8 o'clock. So we have to draw a line to match with the standard time. And this digital time it's a 8 o'clock. Let us try for the one more example. Look at the image of the clock here. It's a 5 o'clock 15 minutes. Or else in standard timing we say it's a quarter past 5. So we have to draw a line to match with the correspondence. And in a digital time we say 5 o'clock 15 minutes. So children for the remaining problems you have to draw a line with the correspondence. Our next activity is about Find the days of the week and color them in a given grid. Children, here they have given a grid where we have to find out the days of the week. As we already learned about the days of the week, once I will read, repeat after me. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So children, we have to find out those days from the given grid here. So, in the first column we can see the Sunday. S-U-N-D-A-Y. So we have to mark this Sunday. Sunday after Monday. So let us search for the Monday. So in the last column, we can see here 
Monday. That is M O N D E Y. Monday. So we have to color the Monday. So children, we have to hunt for all the seven days of the week here. Try for the further. Our next activity is write these dates in the order in which they come in the year. So children, here they have given some events which we have to arrange them in the order. So the first month of the year is January. So the event in a January is a 26th January we have the Republic Day. So first we have to write here. 26th January, Republic Day. So, after January, which month will come? February. So, there is no any event of the February. February after March, April, May, June, July, July after August. So, we can see the August month event here. That is 15th August Independence Day. So children, we have to write 15th August Independence Day. So children, try for the further months and write it in the order. I hope everybody have understood the activities and you are able to complete this worksheet. Thank you children. Take care. Bye-bye.